It's been legal to buy marijuana in Oregon since October 2015. While the industry has taken off, it hasn't all been on the right side of the law. In southern Oregon, in fact, it's reported that hundreds of thousands of pounds of black market pot are harvested annually. It's a problem that has been growing for years. Now law enforcement across the state has taken notice. That illegal trade is the topic of this week's Willamette Week cover story. Joining us to talk about that story is one of its authors, Sophie Peel. Sophie, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. How big of a problem is this? You know, by the telling of, you know, local residents, elected officials, and law enforcement, it's a, it's a really big problem. You know, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of these illegal grows in the county, and they do severe environmental damage. Um, you know, it also really erodes sort of the, the small town feel, the public safety that they often, you know, that they want to feel in a small town. Um, and I think, you know, probably the most concerning is that law enforcement has found some really egregious uh, human rights abuses on some of these bigger farms that they've busted. What is the Emerald Triangle and why have so many illegal grow operations sprung up in that same area? So the Emerald Triangle is a part of Northern California um, and then Southern Oregon, including where we went to, Cave Junction, um, that's really known as the best place in the entire world to grow pot, uh, basically because of our climate. Um, and I think there's a couple different theories and reasons why there are so many illegal operators, you know, in this part of um, in this part of the state. I think one is that in 2018, uh, the production of hemp was legalized, and so you know, one of the theories is that a lot of these illegal operators figured we can grow weed illegally, but we can sort of do it under the guise of hemp. Um, and then I think the other thing, too, is that law enforcement, they are already stretched thin in these southern Oregon counties, and they really just don't have the bandwidth to deal with especially pretty intense, you know, sophisticated crime syndicates. And so crime syndicates come here because they know it's sort of a numbers game and they're probably not going to get caught. You mentioned it a little bit earlier on there. You uncovered that it's not just pot that tends to turn up in these rural communities. What other crimes appeared alongside these illegal grow operations? Yeah, I think probably the most concerning is that people are getting murdered on these farms. You know, there was a case in late November in Cave Junction where a 15-year-old and a 24-year-old, um, Jose and Carlos Orozco, were killed during an armed robbery. It's unclear whether their farm was legal or illegal, but according to law enforcement, they had long had their, you know, eyes on this farm because they potentially were doing uh, illegal activity. But, you know, two really young men were, were murdered. Um, as part of this illegal weed industry. And, and you know, these in some, in, in some capacities are sophisticated crime syndicates. Um, and so there is there are guns on site. And so it's not uncommon that the sheriff's office will find uh, people who have died on these farms. Sophie Peel, thanks as always for joining us. Great reporting. Thanks for having me. You can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.